Now, sports with Pete Byrne. Good evening. We are live tonight inside the Jim McClay High School in what will certainly be a special and very emotional night for the Colonial family. Tonight, Clay will say goodbye to one of their own, Chad Hudnall, who tragically lost his battle with cancer a few months ago. Chad was a student here in the 90s, played on the state championship team, and then later taught and coached at the high school, and will certainly be missed by all. Tonight, his number 14 will be retired prior to their basketball game against South Bend, Washington. I'm joined now by longtime former Clay Athletic Director Greg Humnicki. Greg, you knew Chad in a very special way, both as a young man when he was a student and an athlete here, then later as a teacher and a coach. Just what do you remember about him? He was just a tremendous, just a tremendous human being. He, he cared about his teammates. He cared about the kids he coached. Cared about kids. You know, he loved being a teacher. And uh, I was happy uh, as can be when he decided to come back and came back to South Bend. We were able to put him on staff here and and was assistant basketball coach for a number of years. And we kind of knew that uh, when Chip O'Neill was going to retire, that uh, he'd be our next baseball coach. And it was only fitting that those kids came together for him last year won that sectional in baseball. Yeah, in hindsight, very special. We mentioned the jersey retirement. His number 14 is up on the wall, where it will stay here in this gym forever. Uh, how appropriate is it that he is the one athlete whose number will be retired at Clay? Well, I think the fact that he, I like the idea that he was, he was a multi-sport athlete. He was a great baseball player, an all-conference baseball player, was on our state championship basketball team and got us, you know, got us uh, in it at overtime against uh, Valparaiso in 94. So. You know, it's it's the fact. I think you combine everything: his his uh, outstanding ability as a, as an athlete, a great student, great teacher, great parent, great husband, great father to his children. And it's only a tragedy that that he's not with us here today. I'm sure he's down looking upon this gathering tonight and probably smiling from ear to ear. I hope. No doubt about it. You you mentioned uh, the legacy that we all here remember, but now that the numbers retired. Plays students and faculty for years to come will know his story. How important is that? Well, I think it's very important to see that that it, anything is possible if you set your uh, if you set your mind on on becoming a teacher. For example, you can make an impact, and he's made an impact uh, given the the tremendous uh, turnout by the kids. They've sold, I know, over hundreds of these T-shirts, mm -hmm. uh, commemorative T-shirts, and they pitched in to help uh, with with a with a fund at the bank for the kids' uh, future scholarship educational fund, which is fantastic. Indeed it is. And Greg, appreciate your time. Thanks for joining me. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Again, Greg Humnicki, former Clay Athletic.